بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everyone, this is Omar Balfaki and I want to welcome you to the third episode of Inspired by Games In the past two episodes, we did the Acts of Kratos from God of War and then the Deadeye aiming system from Red Dead Redemption 2 and today, we're making the wingsuit from Far Cry so I hope you're excited, I'll show you the results Going down, it goes faster and if I'm going straight, it goes slower and slower. You can even hear that the audio is affected when I'm going down and when I'm going straight. So that's what we will be doing. I hope you're excited. And before getting started, if you're not a subscriber, in this channel I make video game development tutorials and from time to time I upload my short films. So if you're interested in these kind of things, remember to hit the subscribe button to get more of these up to date. Let's get started. Okay, so here we just have this level. I got these mountains from um, the asset store. I'll leave the link below so you can download it. And then I just did few manipulations here and added these. And then here our player is just a cube with a camera in it. And the player has a rigid body so it will be going down if I play. You could see it's just falling down so fast. Let's open the script. Before writing any code, I just want to explain to you something quickly. Here we have the player. By default, it has only one force dragging the object down, which is the effect of gravity. But we want to apply two more forces. One upward force, so it goes slower. And we're going to do that by adjusting the drag force. The more you have drag, the slower it goes down. And then we're going to add a forward velocity or a forward force, so it moves forward. So you're just going to remove everything here. We're going to start by setting a float, call it speed, equals 12.5. And then we're going to apply that force to the player the whole time. And then here, public float, drag, equals 6. And now void update. First, we need the rigid body so we can apply the drag and force to it. I'm going to create a public rigid body, RB. We can drag it from the inspector or just from here, void start, RB equals get component rigid body. And then from here we're gonna adjust the drag force rb dot drag equals drag to adjust the velocity i'm just gonna start the velocity in a temporary variable so vector 3 local velocity equals transform dot inverse transform direction and then we're gonna pass the rigid body velocity because velocity by default returns world space vector but we want it to become local so we use the inverse transform direction and then local v dot z equals speed so we're moving it forward and then rigid body dot velocity we're gonna set it back so remember now it's local we want to convert it back to become world space so transform dot transform direction and we're gonna pass it back again local v so if you save it go back you don't have to worry about that because we're setting it in the start method just hit play okay cool but now we can't control anything and the player keeps moving forward okay now we want to control the player as well by rotating him so this is the local x-axis of the player we want to rotate him this way and then the y to rotate the player left and right i'm gonna create a private variable of type vector3 and call it rot shortcut for rotation and then we're gonna set it to transform dot angles and then here we will rotate the player so rotation dot x plus equals let's say 20 multiplied by input dot get axis vertical which is up and down and then multiply it by time dot delta time we want to limit the player let's say from 0 to 45 degrees so rotation dot x equals math dot clamp which is a limit function and then we pass first thing the value which is rotation dot x and then the minimum value 0 and the maximum 45 degrees and now we set the player rotation to that new rotation so transform dot rotation equals quaternion dot euler and we pass the rotation save it and go back hit play okay so if i go up it goes down and if i press down or s it goes up
You can invert it by putting a negative sign here and it will be inverted, but I love it this way. And now let's do the Y axis. It's going to be the same but without limitations so here would be y and we just change vertical to horizontal save it and go back all right that's cool we can rotate okay now we can rotate in both sides and one more thing i want to add the z axis so when we rotate right i want to rotate it a bit in the z axis just like that around five degrees so it will be the same as the x all right now we're doing the z axis it's similar to the x axis because it has limitations but we don't want to add we want to equalize it directly to negative five multiplied by the horizontal input without using time dot delta time and change this to z in here to z as well and z finally here negative five here just positive five save it and go back hit play okay cool so if i go right you could see it rotates a bit on the z-axis nice okay now the last thing we need to do is when the player is going 45 degrees we want to increase the speed and decrease the drag and when the player going forward we want to decrease the speed and increase the drag to modify these values we need to know if the player is on zero angle then it will have um, less drag and less speed and if the player is on 45 degrees then it would be faster we need to store that in a variable if it's the minimum it will be zero if it's the maximum it would be one public float let's call it percentage and then here we would set it percentage equals rotation dot x divided by maximum angle which is 45 degrees and then i'm just gonna move it down so we get the percentage and then we're gonna affect both the drag and the speed create temporary drag I'm gonna call it mod drag equals the drag it's either fast is four and slow is six so if it's six it means the player is moving forward with zero degrees and if it's 45 it will be four so to do that percentage multiplied by negative two plus six so basically here would be the bigger number and then here the difference between them both four minus six is negative two so we'll put it here if the percentage is zero then it would be six if it's one it will be four for it's simple math but i hope i didn't confuse you guys and we're gonna do the same for the speed float mod speed equals for speed fast would be 13.8 and slow would be 12.5 if the player is going down 45 degrees it would be for drag in 13.8 force so the modified speed would be the difference between the two 13.8 minus 12.5 percentage multiplied by these two numbers plus the minimum which is 12.5 basically we get the difference and we multiply it by percentage if it's zero this would go away and if it's not it will be added here so it will become the fast speed and then here we set the drag to the modified drag and then here speed to the mod speed save it and go back so now it's going faster and if i go a bit up and up go slower and it falls down slower so you could see here now it's six the drag if i go all the way down it becomes four percentage is one so if it's zero it goes back to six so that's cool and now a few more things to add we're gonna add the camera shake script we call it camera shake all right so we have the camera shake here and I'm just gonna drag it so double click public wingsuit controller wc and then void late update transform dot local position equals new vector three and then we're gonna adjust it by float shaking equals 0 0.5 we're gonna use random that range negative shaking and positive shaking and the same for the y and then the z it will be just zero as it is and i'm using the wingsuit controller just to multiply it by the percentage we have so if the player is moving forward it should be smooth and if the player is moving all the way down it should be the maximum so we're going to do the same float mod shaking equals shaking multiplied by wc dot percentage 
and just replace it here save it and go back so we just drag the player here and hit play it's not shaking if i go down you could see that it's shaking cool now we're done with the coding part two more things to add the camera effects and then the audio for the camera effect just add component post processing volume create a new profile and then add layer change the camera to post processing and uh, post processing here as well and make it global and now let's add the effects first we need the lens distortion to give it kind of a fish eye so something about 55 and the scale to 1.1 it looks weird but when we start playing it will be okay and then I'm gonna add motion blur just increase the shutter angle to have more uh, motion blur and then finally we're just gonna add vignette if you want to just to give it kind of a cinematic look and increase the intensity a bit smoothness okay so hit play and let's see so if you're going down you see the motion blur effect it's so cool now let's add the audio the camera we're gonna create two game objects call this wind one duplicate it wind two search for wind i've got two wind sound effects if you have one it's all right but for me i have two just to show you a few things around the audio mixer so i'm gonna come here create audio mixer and let's call it wingsuit wind effect i'm gonna open our mixer here and i'm just gonna add another group call it wind effects one and duplicate it and this will be wind effects two and now we'll go back here select it wind effects one and then select the other guy and wind effects two make sure that both of them are loop so just check the loop here hit play and hit edit in play mode so now i could decrease this guy or increase it a bit and decrease this to have a balanced sound now that's cool but we want to increase the pitch when we're going down and decrease it when we're going up so we're gonna play with this and to do so select master and then right click here expose pitch of master to script so rename it to pitch we're gonna go back to the script and we're gonna come here using unity engine dot audio and then here public audio mixer come here am dot set float and the name we named it which is pitch and then the value would be one plus percentage so if it's zero it would be one and if we're going down so it, this guy will be one so we'll have the pitch as 200 percent save it select the player and then we're just gonna drag our audio mixer here hit play So if we're going down, the pitch is increasing. If we're going up, it becomes normal. That's pretty cool. And one more thing, remember that 45 is the maximum degree. And then here, this is the difference between the two drags. And here is the max drag. This is the max speed, low speed to get the difference. And then here, the minimum speed or the slow speed. The code I'm gonna upload to GitHub would be the modified version of it, where I'm just gonna use variables instead of these fixed numbers. So you can play around with the numbers and see the results instantly. So that's the end of this video. I hope you learned something useful today and let me know which feature from which game do you want us to copy in the next episode. This is Omar Balfaki. Thank you so much for watching and until then, see ya.